Oh boy, oh boy. Pardon me. Back down in the basement. I'm just going over my plan of attack. <clears throat> I've got got some time to tinker. I think I'm going to redo the drop targets for Black Hole. I've already done those guys. Once I do these guys, I've just got flipper rebuilds left, and then I can bring home the cabinet. That'll be exciting, because it would be nice to get Black Hole all put together, shopped up. I'll set it up right here play the crap out of it, then I'll sell it, and then maybe I will reclaim my space here and set up three pins, they have to be shorties though, so they can't be Whitewater and Dracula, but somebody might be interested in TX Sector, if so, then I can put Dracula where TX Sector was, that is 90% complete, I was waiting for this ramp to arrive, from Greece because when I was shopping the machine two years ago maybe now I think I stepped on this the original one and mangled it to pieces so it was not fixable and now that I have this and I also have what else do we got a new diverter there's just a few things oh center plastic this is the old optos for the old wire form. Hmm. But everything else is like done. Oh wait, what is that? No, nothing else. Dracula Operator's Handbook. There's the manuals. Um, did I clean up the legs? They don't look too clean. Hmm. I wonder if I should consider some powder coatage. <clears throat> but, so if TX Sector sells, maybe Dracula. See, so you can see, like, the play field is done. Nice lightning flippers, rubbers, and fully LED'd. So, anyway, drop targets. That's what I'm going to do over there. And... Henry paid me a visit today. Check this out. Custom apron cards. Thanks, Henry. Appreciando. Some more horse trading. It's always fun. And we'll get rid of the yellow. Yeah, that'll look... I think I might go like this. That looks cool. I like it. Just put that maybe underneath or in the coin box. So I'll do that. And then I think I'm going to clean up the skateball play field, replace all the rubbers, maybe do touch ups. Oh, looks like I might have put a little yellow there in that little wear spot originally. I don't know. Is there any touch ups? Yeah, I guess I already did touch-ups. So I just need to clean the play field, rubber it, put it back together again, and then test it thoroughly. So that's the game plan for now. Let's uh, see how much progress I can make. It's nothing too major or complicated, so I feel like we should have some success. All right, using mostly this and this, I cleaned up the drop target assembly, especially in all the grooves and the fins and the grooves, more grooves, just to try and make everything nice and fresh and snappy once I put it back together again. I made a bit of a mess, but I'll... Uh, use compressed air to spray that off so that's disabled <laughs> disabled and disassembled and here's what we got that's what I pulled out of there let's take a closer look so I clearly need an L which I have but here's the problem you don't notice this unless you really you know take a close look 
I'm missing my feet on my B and my A. Oh, thank you. There's a B with a foot and an A with a foot. So B, L, A. Which C is in better shape? C and then K. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I have a full set, nice shape with, <gasps> wait, the C is missing a foot. No good. Oh yes, just. So basically these three, oops, that I dropped, B, A, C, those are all garbage. And heck is sparesies. And this is what's going to go in black heck. So all good feet. And yeah, so I'll clean these guys up and reinstall. So sweet. I'm so glad. I guess the, if I had to, I could go to storage where I have 17 other black hole parts machines. Um, not really, but almost. And I might have been able to find some there. But A, they might not be there. And B, they're not here. So, this is convenient and awesome. Hmm, no one escapes the black hole. Okay, so ACDC apron card mission is complete. And that looks sharp. I like it a lot. So I moved over to the main course, black hole and ACDC, I guess, were the appetizers. So... I uh, started removing plastics and taking a look at everything in general. Things are looking good. Looks like I uh, originally, vaguely remember this, replaced all of the Bally hot stamped lane guides. Uh, from what I understand, they don't make these anymore and they're getting harder and harder to come by. Um, and I do recall touching up this spinner now. Uh, but it looks like it's taking a little bit of a beating. I think I just... Mm, like, primed it and then touched up with some yellow around the edges there. But, yeah, I, I do recall that now. Looks like I might add a little more super lube. to make sure that spins beautifully. And... Those do look like new pop bumper caps. Uh, I imagine that if they were original, they wouldn't look quite that crisp. So I'm guessing I changed those. And I did all the drop targets, I can tell. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean the play field, re-rubber it with the rubber kit that Matt provided me. And then here's, there's a lot of plastics on this game actually. You can see the areas where I beefed up with um, Lexan washer and the nylon acorn nut. I did one there. I mean, it would make more sense when you see these on the play field, but slingshots. I used a lot of Lexan washers for some extra protection. So. Um, yeah, just plugging away and moving along. All right, started uh, cleaning up the play field. Some, some magic eraser. And uh, I don't know if you saw the area before, but it was pretty black. It's coming up. And what it looks like I did a couple years ago was touched up this sort of area in yellow and put mylar over it. I'm not sure if that's just to build up the divot that was there. Uh, so yeah, it's not quite the perfect color match, but it's okay. Um, and so yeah, just cleaning up this corner here and you can see kind of like the nice yellow collect and then how filthy it gets down there. So that's kind of going to be the before, uh, pop off the apron and really get in there. But yeah, I'm going to do one quadrant at a time. I don't know why I'm doing it that way, but that's what I'm doing this one, just for fun. 
And yep, so quadrant number one is underway. Okay, just working away on skateball here while listening to Loser Kids Pinball Podcast. So check them out if you haven't. They interview lots of great industry folk. And I was just listening to an interview with one Robert Burke of Chicago Pinball Expo. And it sounds like this expo is going to be insane. And I am seriously contemplating going. Uh, Robert was talking about... All of the Spanish and Italian games he's been accumulating lately and that he will have a presence of those at the show. It sounds like he uh, owns in and around 1,200 pinball machines, so holy poop. But I have a good feeling that the Nordomatic Explorer that was right here before Skateball that Robert Burke purchased from me will be at Chicago Pinball Expo, so... That's kind of cool, ain't it? So, I am done. The skateball play field from here down. I just tightened everything, cleaned everything, changed all the rubbers. Actually, the flipper rubbers are very new. There's not a single piece of wear on them, so I just cleaned them up with my rubbing alcohol pads. Cleaned uh, the out hole, trough, in behind the apron. It was never bad. Uh, I must have done that before, I typically do. And I do notice there's a little bit of wear here that I'm going to... See, like, I, I know I touched up this playfield, because you can see right here, there's a little wear spot, and you can see where I put some yellow and then finished off the black line there. So that means that that is actually new wear, because I would have not left that if I went through the trouble of going over every outline on pretty much every switch, I can see like right there, you can see in a little bit of added outline. Um, so that is new wear and I'm going to touch that up. But other than that, check it out. This much of the play field is done and it is looking good. I cleaned the tops of the drop targets so far. These are the little rubbing alcohol wipes. They are really handy. You just, I just use tons of them. Flipper rubbers. Anywhere. They work great. So, I am going to move on to the top half now. And that podcast is now over. So, I have to pick a, another one. All right, there's some dirt underneath the mylar. Under the, like around the pop bumpers. And can't get to it. So, busted out the, um, what do you call this thing again? Exacto blade. Is that what it's called? <laughs> and uh, just trimmed a little bit. Let's see if we can pull it off here. Ooh, look at that. Get rid of that nasty. Now, little magic eraser will uh, clean that up. And I might do a little more trimming. Let's, let's do some live trimmage here. Oh, this thing's sharp. Gotta be careful. I bought this thing uh, not all that long ago and really should have bought it sooner. Because this thing is great for trimming along crappy mylar and I often have to trim off crappy mylar things kind of feels like it could be tightened a little bit but let's see how this is so what you got to do after is um, clean the adhesive that's going to be left behind and usually um, rubbing alcohol works great for that so look at that boom I don't have rubbing alcohol on the magic eraser, but I bet you just a little bit of rubbing. See, isn't that much better? That is awesome. Okay, I think I am pretty much done cleaning the play field and re rubbering everything. Hey, that flipper. 
it was a little bit sketchy. I will have to investigate. Obviously, the underside mechanics will be probably next on the list, but the playfield definitely cleaned up nicely. And yeah, I'm just gonna do a purple touch up. And then I think uh, reinstall the plastics, actually maybe before I install the plastics, I'll put the machine in switch test. Because I definitely had to, you know, when you change rubbers, always inspect your switches, which I clean with my Dremel with the wire brush attachment. But there's a lot on this play field. There's two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven ish. Most of which are all worth a whopping ten points. Mm, I think they all are, yep. Just rebound rubbers. So, lube up the spinner. Check all the switches first, make sure they're happy. I think I've tightened every single post. And they're all good. I added a little bit of toothpick on this one to help secure that. Got your one-way gate there, your one-way gate there, your one-way gate here. Three one-way gates. Did you see that one? I wasn't looking through my camera. Um, so, making progress. And, oh yeah, so this pinball kit that I got from Matt looks like it came from PCX Pinball LLC. I've never heard them. PCK? X. Oh, X. This over here looks a little K-ish. Um, they definitely feel a little different than your Marco rubbers or Pinball Life rubbers. I'm not saying that's bad or good, just they feel different. Just a little bit. A little more maybe rubbery. But there's all the old rubbers and my rubbing alcohol cloths. I did a smidge of a black touch-up so far. Didn't need the red yet. But yeah, so it looks like for some reason I had three extras. I'm guessing maybe they just included them as extras. And like I said, the flipper rubbers were really good on this machine, so I didn't do those. But as far as I can see, I didn't miss any... Two and a half inch, three inch, whatever. It looks like a three inch and two, maybe one and a half or two inch rubbers. Uh, I don't see that I missed any rubbers, so I'm guessing that they are extras. So, yeah, it is looking good, eh? I think so. Okay, I got a little sidetracked and ended up dealing with all the lamps first before getting into the switches and I got them all good now this one the wire had popped off the socket so that was easy and this B was just a really crappy socket so I replaced it with a new one here's the old one I tried to do the mod where you uh, solder the barrel to the body and then you solder the wire directly to the nipple or whatever you call it. Eh, that didn't work, so I just put in a new socket. So that goes into the trash. But yep, every light bulb is now functional, including the back box. And one thing I noticed is that when I start a game, hey look at this, it's kind of interesting. It looks like someone at the factory put in, uh, like drilled some extra holes or I'm not sure what that's all about, but. Okay, so let's see if this happens. When I start a game, we got some sound effects and we got do 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 but that last note doesn't end you can just hear it 
I mean, speakers in the cabinet. We can go down here, but where's the speaker right here? You hear that last note still resonating. So that's a little odd. I wonder, there's just a volume adjust on this. There's not a, uh, sometimes there's two adjustments. One's for like the duration of the sounds. It looks like, looks like I sent out this board. It look, these blue capacitors look new, I think. Someone just said low battery. I don't know who that was. I didn't know anything talk to me that has a low battery warning. What the hell was that? What's low battery? Who's talking? Low battery, is it? Is it my flashlight? I've never heard it talk to me. Is it my phone? No, there's no way. Oh! It is my Bluetooth. I never turned it off. That makes sense. So, I got my Bluetooth talking to me. My skate ball humming a little extra tune. What happens if I uh, hit a switch? It goes away. Okay, well, I don't know if that's normal or not. Normal or not, but... I guess I can live with that as long as it is not an issue. Playtesting will, will uh, you know, work out any of those gremlins, but I keep getting sidetracked with various different things, as you can see. Now, going back to what I was originally going to do, one last check on these bulbs. Do we see any... that are not working. I mm, think we're good. Even my rollover LEDs underneath, they're good. So I think we are safe to proceed. Going over the switches, reassembling the play field, and then checking the underside. Okay, well, maybe I'll turn that flash off. Oh, the glare is coming from the not having the back glass in. Uh, but I think I am done for the most part. Uh, should almost put in the back glass, but as I get closer, the glare goes away. All the plastics are installed. I did the touch up here. Uh, with the purple, but it's kind of like a purpley brown. It's not the easiest to match and then I cleared over it so that's still maybe a little bit wet so I can't play test yet but well, the drop targets I cleaned plastics are reinstalled oh I forgot to check look I forgot to check the pop bumper lights so that goes on the checklist and my number one's all happy again I'm gonna vacuum this play field again and I went underneath the play field and tightened up the flipper mix and slingshot mix and just did a overall inspection of everything I didn't notice anything broken loose or that looked bad everything was pretty good overall so oh here we go brand new shiny ball that goes in. I probably shouldn't play yet. Yeah, it's a little tacky. I could put something over top of it. No, that probably probably should just wait. But so that is where I'm at. Pop up her light bulb and then play test the crap out of this thing. Make sure that there are no issues. So that is basically my goals for the night accomplished. I'll wait a little bit for this to dry. Then I'm going to play me some skateball.